my name's Ian from Ian Taylor Trekking. Mirror Peak is a 21,000 foot peak high in the Himalayas. It sits in a valley next to Everest. Massive peaks, all the highest mountains in the world are just like standing right in front of you. Every time you looked around, you seen something new and exciting and something that blew your mind and made you appreciate exactly where you were. You're not just getting to see it for 10, 15, 20 minutes and trying to absorb that intensity of the mountains. You're seeing this for days and days on end. And I think it's achievable for a lot of people. It's, it's not necessarily a climbing peak, although climbing techniques are required. For me, I'm, I'm just your average guy who goes out there and tries to take on these adventures and get everything I can out of them. Ian helped us get our fitness up, make sure that our legs were in the right shape, make sure that we're able to trek for you know, eight, ten hours on end, um, make sure that we could do multiple days, like, you know, twenty something days out there in the Himalayas. Is, it's tough going, but if you've got the right training, you'll get there. It's more like an expedition style. We'll spend three, four nights above 5,000 meters. There's a lot of itineraries out there that just push people up the mountain. It's not going to work. The key is to take time, acclimatize, get used to the lack of oxygen, prepare your body slowly. Ian had us well prepared. He definitely acclimatized as well. We went up slowly and we definitely felt good because we didn't rush up the mountain. We're pushing people, but we're also educating them every step of the way, every step of the journey, every day. There's something going on where it's safety. We're showing them the ropes, we're teaching them how to use it. Yeah, the experience is like a real expedition. It's not just like a, a trekking holiday. You're using harness, you're using equipment. You know, putting on those crampons, learning how to abseil, um, going down small hills, small mountains. There was always advice, always communication. I always felt very, very safe with the ropes. I felt very comfortable at all times during the whole trip. To get the best acclimatization and to acclimatize to the lack of oxygen, to give everyone the best chance at the summit, we have to follow a route that best suits that. And that takes people off the beaten trail, and we camp a lot. So most of our nights are spent camping, and camping is quite unique. We have all the staff there. You're woken up at 7 o'clock in the morning. The porters were looking after us very well. Morning tea every morning with the wake-up call. Breakfast outside in the sunshine. Um, we usually got some snow in the afternoon. So we were in the tents in the evening getting our popcorn, our soup. And we'll be perched on these ledges just camping out. You zip open your tent with stunning mountain views every morning. After about 15 days, we uh, summited Mara Peak. Summit night was pretty cold. We started out at 2 a.m. It was minus 13. We were all coordinated, all layered up, kept moving. We knew what to do and eventually got to the summit then at 8 o'clock in the morning. You know, getting up to that first summit and putting on the crampons and digging them in, getting the ice axe out and putting it into the wall, pulling your body up step by step. You just stand on the top of the mountain and literally it feels like you're on top of the world. The greatness of the different mountains around you in the middle of the Himalayas, it's very hard to describe and it's one of those things that must be seen to be believed. If anyone's looking for adventure, to be inspired, to take on a trekking peak in Nepal, we can get you prepared for it, we can get you ready and you're in for one hell of a ride. If you're thinking of doing it, it's definitely worthwhile. It's a once in a lifetime kind of thing. At 100%, Ian was there to make sure that we got through every step of the way. It's definitely possible and it's definitely worthwhile doing. Just get in touch, give us a call, drop me an email. You can catch me at iantaylortrekking.com and I'd love to talk to you.